they're not even getting the real you to interact with. So then their opinion isn't going to be based on who you actually are. It's going to be based on who you present yourself to be. Hey, it's Anna. So I want to talk about trying to fit in because for years, like absolute years, probably my whole childhood, I was desperate and I'm not talking like a little bit desperate I'm talking like extreme desperation to fit in to be accepted to feel validated by other people like I was next level desperate <laughs> I just wanted to be accepted so I feel like this is such a huge thing that goes on in people's lives especially in the school years and like childhood and there's so many lessons to learn from it and it really got me thinking like what even is acceptance like what even is trying to fit in what does that actually even mean and it's only now when I'm starting to like get to know myself and uncover all of these things about who I am that I realise like what the hell <laughs> what the hell was I even wanting like where did that even stem from and I realised that Trying to be accepted by other people is literally trying to control their thoughts about you. It's like creating your own narrative. But you can't even control your own thoughts, let alone somebody else's. So it's really impossible. Like, you can't actually do it. I don't know if you've tried to control your own thoughts, but I have. And, like, sometimes I can make them stop. Like, I... I I can't speak. I can clear my mind in meditation and it goes a lot quieter, but you still can't control what ones are gonna come in. Like, it's just impossible, you know? Like you can take control of certain things, especially the more that you start meditating, the more that you get to know who you are and you observe your thoughts and like you notice their patterns and what they do, but you can't actually control them fully because this is a human experience and it's a human mind, it's an ego mind, like it has its purpose. So if you can't do that for your own mind, how are you ever gonna do it for somebody else's when you can't even hear what their mind is saying? So I really don't know why I was trying to control that, to be honest. I think there's a bit of a control issue, but obviously like we all have insecurities and as I said in a previous video about flaws and what flaws are and the fact that they don't actually exist, like you're trying to control how somebody else perceives you and also how they perceive your flaws, like you want them to see you as perfect pretty much, like you don't want them to have any kind of negative opinion towards you, you don't want them to feel any of this negativity but oftentimes we feel that negativity towards ourselves you know so that's why we're worrying about whether they'll notice it and that's kind of the main thing that I realized like you're fearing what they will think about you because you're aware of your own flaws your own negative aspects that you don't like and you're hoping that they won't notice them but all that does is make you feel insecure and then you don't behave like yourself, you know, you start acting all closed in and maybe even quiet and like you don't reveal your true self. So then they're not even getting the real you to interact with. So then their opinion isn't going to be based on who you actually are. It's going to be based on who you present yourself to be. Does that make sense? So it's like they're not even gonna form an opinion on who you actually are because you're not even revealing that to them, you know? So oftentimes it's like a vicious cycle of the mind, to be honest. It's always a vicious cycle of like chasing perfection, but making sure that people see that, you know? Like you're not necessarily actually behaving perfect because I mean, it's kind of hard to be perfect 24 seven and to never make a mistake and to never do anything wrong, to never upset anybody. Like those things take time and they take consistent effort and they take like awareness and conscious effort, you know, like you have to have the awareness of it. So 
that's like a journey of this whole lifetime so you're never going to get to that destination especially as a child you know especially when you're in school especially when you're a teenager and you're going through puberty and like you're having all these hormone imbalances and you're learning about yourself there's just no way that you're ever going to be perfect nobody is even in adulthood like it's all the same mind that you carry with you throughout the years you know so it just it's never going to happen and you can't control that opinion anyway so you're literally chasing something that isn't actually ever going to happen it's not even possible and all of that I've realized is definitely based in your own insecurity and I had mine and that's why I was trying to like not do certain things because I was worried how they would think about me like I was worried of other people's opinions so that dictated what I did that dictated how I spoke that dictated the things that I would talk about with other people you know it completely controls everything it controls your whole life and you're not really being yourself and then I also feel like you start to lose who you actually are because you put up this mask for so long that you don't even know who you really are. Like you can't even feel that anymore because you're so used to putting on this act. And it's not, I don't want to say act because it's not really acting. It's like, it's a bit like um, affirmations. When you say something to yourself so much, you then start to believe it. But when you start behaving how other people will want you or how you think other people will want you to then it becomes like a habit it's like second nature so it almost you take on this identity like it becomes who you are even when it's not necessarily something that you actually want or something that you actually like you know you like become the mask and you lose all of the things that you actually like, all of the things that you actually want to do, like you stop doing them because you want other people to accept you. And it's really like, it's such a cycle. It's never ending when you get trapped in it, but you can get out of it. And like, it doesn't even achieve anything. Like it doesn't actually achieve the acceptance that you want because you're not being yourself. So how can you be accepted when you're not even being yourself? And even when you do express who you are, like say you're not putting on a mask and you actually are trying to be yourself, even then the insecurity in your mind, it still, pre it still prevents you from interacting in an authentic way. Like, I don't know, like so many people have anxiety and I really struggled with social anxiety for like absolute years and even now sometimes like I get so terrified to go to the gym and it's it's just the voice in my own mind like it's not even a real thing but it feels so real and it like completely paralyzes you and stops you from being able to like go out and like go anywhere and be who you are you know so it is a serious thing but it is something that you can deal with and you can let go of but as everything is, it all is in the mind. And so you have to take control of it and consistent effort towards it. And like, you have to kind of want it, to be honest, like nobody else can do it for you because just like you can't hear their thoughts, they can't hear yours either. So they have no idea how terrified you are because they can't hear your thoughts, you know? So although like vulnerability and things are scary, I do think it's important to, just go for it anyway like just take the plunge and be who you are anyway because you're never going to get everyone to like you it's just not going to happen because it's personal preference and even when somebody dislikes you half the time you won't even be aware of it because you can't hear their thoughts like you won't even know you know and if they lash out to you then that's just a reflection of them that has nothing to do with you anyway so you can't even take that shit personal so the idea of even fitting in doesn't even make sense. Like it's not even a real thing because every single person is different. So one person will like you, one person won't. Like you're not even going to meet every single person in the world anyway. So who are you trying to fit in with? Is it just like a group of people? Like one small handful of people? Why do you feel like you need to shape yourself to fit in with that little group of people when there's billions of people in the world? absolute billions why are those people so more worthy than you that you feel like you need to change yourself just to please them just to fit in with them just to be accepted by them 
you know and if you have to change yourself to fit in with that group of people or whoever it may be then they're not even worthy of being around like why would you even want to be friends with them because they're not even allowing you to be you and that's who you came here to be you didn't come here to be them you didn't come here to be anybody else but you so if you have to change yourself then that isn't somebody that should even be around you because the people that like the people that are deserving of being around you are the people that let you be yourself and that's the same in any relationship not just friendship but absolutely any relationship you know so yeah this has come from somebody that really craved it like it was ridiculous when I think about it now like I fully would just completely change who I was and I mean most of the time I just stay quiet like I was so shy it's not even normal like I was extremely shy <laughs> so I would just keep quiet and nobody would ever really see who I was so I don't know I think it really restricts so much of your life and cages you in and why would you want to live like that you know so I want to put this out there and start this kind of conversation because I feel like all of these conversations are really necessary into just I know it's such a time to just be yourself you know just be yourself if you even look at all of the music artists out there a lot of it now is starting to shift into authenticity you know not just music but any kind of industry that's in the public eye is all about you you only relate to the people that are actually being themselves and you can tell when they're not and it feels awkward it feels uncomfortable you know that's why I had to start these blooming series again because I realised I was so petrified to be on camera that it was just awkward. <laughs> but obviously it's deeper than just trying to like be yourself in front of other people. It's also about being yourself for yourself. Like, are you being yourself when you're alone? Do you pick decisions that you want to pick? Do you go to places that you want to go to? Like, it always starts in your own mind so it's baby steps you know start with one decision that is something that you really want to do and then move on to the next and then the next but realize that you can't change other people's opinions you can't even hear their thoughts so their thoughts shouldn't have any power over you you know your own thoughts shouldn't have power over you so nobody else's should matter more than your heart and more than what's right for you and more than who you are and more than what you want you know so I don't want to make this video like too long because I'll be here forever and then I'll end up going in cycles. So I'm going to end this here but if there's anything else that you want me to touch on in this topic definitely leave me a comment below and I'm sure I will think of something anyway. So there will be more to follow but yeah we can con cut, 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 cut speak we can continue the conversation in the comments because I always reply to everybody. So I have an itch on my fucking nose. <laughs> but thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye. Also, this is my first time doing this hairstyle, okay? And I noticed it's wonky, but I couldn't be asked to straighten it up because I was ready to film. So just, you know, we can't be perfect, okay? Just ignore the wonderful hairstyle. I don't know if I like it. I don't know if it will appear ever again. But you might as well try things. I need a man that will hold me down If he is